Tobacco ads are illegal in Canada, but you've probably seen this on social media. Nicotine pouches, aka Zins, have entered into mainstream culture. Our Zin equivalent in Canada is called Zonic. The bright packaging and fun flavors could attract a younger audience than intended. I've heard of nicotine pouches from like friends. I certainly have friends that partake in all, all of them. The simple answer is of course there's a trend and Zin use is way on the rise. I mean it's, it's funny to look at, to, it's entertainment, but at the end of the day like it's just pointless comedy. In Quebec they're not hard to find. You can find them either at select pharmacies or even online. And in Ontario, you can find them at gas stations and convenience stores. So why can't we advertise them so openly here in Quebec? Tobacco companies have proven many times that they were highly effective in, in reaching young people in their message and how they presented their products. Tobacco advertising bans came into effect as the health risks were identified. It wasn't until the 90s that the Canadian government banned tobacco advertising altogether. Vapes can't be shown in advertising because they're considered to be just like cigarettes under the law. Vape restrictions were tightened in Quebec last fall when flavored products were banned. So why are the pouches everywhere? They're playing catch up. They're trying to figure out how are we going to regulate this item? And uh, what are we going to do in terms of both restrictions on advertising? Right now, there really are none. There are no stats available to show just how many people are using synthetic nicotine in Quebec. Zonic was only approved for sale by Health Canada in July 2023. However, overall nicotine use in the form of vaping has jumped in Quebec from 4.1% in 2020 to 7% three years later. There's been a 4% increase among 15 to 24 year olds in that same time span, despite all the information out there on the risks associated. I hear a lot of young people telling me that they use nicotine to help with symptoms of anxiety or stress or depression. So there's the perception that using nicotine may make them feel better in the moment and almost cure or, or help them with their, their mental health struggles. And, and that is a, a twisted perception because we know that nicotine doesn't cure or doesn't solve mental health issues. Since nicotine pouches don't contain tobacco and aren't inhaled, the same rules that, let's say, cigarettes or vapes have to follow don't apply. They're actually regulated as a natural health product in Canada, under the same category as vitamins or sunscreen. The federal health minister says that when it was approved, it was proposed as a stop smoking aid, similar to Nicorette gum or even inhalers. In their marketing and their approach, it exists in a completely different way. We were duped. Imperial Tobacco, which owns Zonic, says they have worked alongside Health Canada to prove that the pouches work as a cessation product. It says Health Canada has agreed that it meets licensing requirements. They also say all Zonic products are kept behind a counter and that an ID must be presented upon purchasing the pouches, adding that they have asked the government to place a minimum age requirement for nicotine replacement products. Officially, Health Canada says the pouches are authorized only as nicotine replacement therapy to help people quit smoking. That means their intended use are for people who are 18 and older, but technically can be bought by anyone. Health Canada is considering legislative changes to restrict the sale of nicotine replacement therapy products to minors. You just need to jump on social media to find someone consuming or promoting nicotine pouches or come across dedicated pages to Zin culture. A lot of young people are investing in that clean girl aesthetic. Uh, conventional modes of smoking or even vaping don't often jive, jive with that aesthetic, but the idea of the inconspicuous consumption. Dr. Shadi says just because they're more discreet doesn't mean they're safe. For example, he says it could pose a risk to oral health. He also says that regulations should be updated to include all nicotine products. 